sadly, we're leaving the Sacred Valley without going to Machu Picchu. There's still a chance we're going to go in the next couple of days, but we will have to leave from Cusco, where we're headed right now. I am pretty crushed that we're not going to Machu Picchu today. That is like the whole reason that we came to Peru, although we're still having an amazing time. It's just a huge bummer that we're in Peru and we probably won't get to Machu Picchu because there was a huge mudslide because of all the rain and it ruined the railroad tracks that you need to get up to Machu Picchu. So they said they're trying to fix it, but I am pretty doubtful that they'll be able to fix it in the few days that we're here. Just taking in one last view of this beautiful place. I'm going to miss this place so much. It was seriously a dream being here. Two hours until we get to Cusco. We made it to our next hotel and they gave us a nice little cup of tea with legit just water and leaves. <laughs> This is San Pedro Church, and you can see right there, you might be able to make out that it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site by the little sign on the side of the church. Now we are going to go inside a local market. market was a lot bigger than I expected when we walked in. I thought it was just going to be little, but it was gigantic. It had a bunch of food options. Like you could eat meals there, breakfast and lunch, and you could even like buy fruits and vegetables, just really anything that you could think of where you could buy it and eat it. They have that. Is it expensive to be inside the market? Yes. To pay a rent for the amount. I don't know how much is that, but if you see the vendors outside, it's because it's too much for to get inside. Mm. Some of the people don't have enough money to be inside the market, so there's like a whole outside market too where they don't have to pay rent. I don't think that it's like actually a market, but there are just vendors on the street. Now we are walking on the main avenue here. It's pretty cute. This is pre Inca. This is Inca. So, definitely, most of the structures we have in Cusco with pre, it was made by pre Inca times. were so good at building. They made all of the rocks, the buildings perfect. You can see how they're so perfectly put together and they built them at an angle like this so that when the earthquakes came, it wouldn't fall down. This is what the Incan temple looked like before the Spanish came and took all of the gold off the top and then built their structure directly on top of the Incan one. Before we came to Cusco, we thought that this was a very small town, but this is a big city. Like when we came here, there were a lot of flights coming to Cusco and we were surprised at that. But now we can really see all of the buildings like on these mountains. There's just, there's just so many of them. And you know, we thought it was gonna be so small, but you can see like there's a lot of people living here. Basically what we learned is the Spaniards came in and messed everything up. <laughs> <laughs> so the Incas built this big temple. I think they built it to the sun god and it was beautiful. I mean, we walked through it and we saw like just the architecture that they used to build it. And then when the Spaniards came uh, to conquer the Incas, they built basically on top of the Incan architecture. It was weird like seeing the two like together, like it was like Incan and then Spaniard. So it was like you could tell the difference and it was weird that they were like both still there. And then 
the part of the tour that we weren't able to show you because we couldn't take any videos of it, they were paintings that the Incas actually did for the Spaniards. And they were a lot of them were of Jesus. Some of them were of Virgin Mary. And they were very interesting to look at and see like how the Incans were like told to portray, mm -hmm. you know, the people. Or how the Incans portrayed them. Like they looked, they some of the paintings, the people in them looked Incan, even though they were supposed to be from Israel where, you know, all that happened. So it's very weird, like seeing two cultures like collide here. Or like three cultures, because yeah. the Incan, the Spaniards, and oh, from yeah. the Middle East. Yeah. We chose this spot to film because you can see the difference between the two structures. First, we have the arches for the Spaniards, and then behind there is for the Incas. The Incas were built in the 13th century, and then these were first constructed in the 17th century, but they collapsed. The Incan structure never collapsed. And also, when the Spaniards came, they there was actually gold on top of the Incan structure all around the entire place and uh, the Spaniards just took the gold off because it was valuable. <laughs> We just finished up a tour of the Catholic Cathedral here in Cusco. They were very adamant about not taking any pictures or videos, so we didn't get any there, but it was an interesting experience. During our tour, we learned that there are different meanings behind all the doors in Cusco. So if you live behind a blue door, that means you're like super, super important. And if you live behind a brown door, that means you're like a priest or something like that. And there's just like a whole bunch of different meanings so you kind of know, I guess, what everyone's status is by their door. Maybe black. This is kind of cute. Oh. We booked a tour tomorrow that's going to be extremely cold. So we had to hurry out of the hotel and try to find like cold weather stuff. So we got some beanies and gloves from a street vendor and it was like so cheap. I love that you can see all of the lights up on the mountain at night. It's so beautiful. Jenny decided to get more of the tourist option at one of the places we found near the market where we got all of our water and our clothes. She got this pizza. It was about like $8, which is still pretty good for the tourist area. But I elected to go with what was deemed from by our tour guide as like a place he would go if he was hungry and he didn't want to spend too much money. It was the exact same place. I figured I should do it as well. And uh, chicken, fries, and it looks like got like some mayonnaise and then there's like mustard and like maybe something else in there too. It looks good. We're going to enjoy this. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.